Hi, I'm Laura Goodman, the State Range Extension Specialist at Oklahoma State University. Let's talk about Indian grass. Indian grass is one of the four main grasses of the tall grass prairie. In North America, it can be found as far south as Mexico and Florida, spanning north all the way into Quebec, Canada. Prairies, woodlands, and savannas are typical habitats that it prefers. And here in Oklahoma, it can be found in all 77 counties, and Indian grass is our state grass. Wildlife use Indian grass mainly as cover, although deer and rabbits will consume it in early spring. It's highly palatable while actively growing, and horses and cattle, cattle consume it frequently. It starts growing in early spring and frequently flowers around mid-August. In Oklahoma, it's commonly hayed in native hay meadows, but this should be done before mid-July. When mature, Indian grass can be more easily identified from a distance. It's a tall grass, three to six feet, and it has a coppery, golden color and fluorescence. The inflorescence is also hairy, like many of the grasses from the blue stem family. Let's take a closer look at the Indian grass inflorescence. The first thing that you'll notice is that it's rather large, six to 12 inches long, and fairly narrow, especially in, in younger plants. The image on the left is from a, a younger plant, and you can see that the branches are quite oppressed to the main axis. In the middle image, you'll see the main axis and how the branches are spaced all along that main axis. This is different than some grasses that have all their branches coming off of the very tip of the main axis. The next thing that you might notice is there's quite a few hairs on this grass. So you'll see hairs on this uh, structure called a spikelet, little short hairs, as well as what some people um, say might be a hair, but is actually an awn, and that comes off the very tip of the spikelet. The next feature um, that you might identify this grass by if you did not have an inflorescence would be an oracle. And the, the place that you're going to find this structure is where the leaf blade meets the main comb. These are the oracles, and um, a lot of people will call them rabbit ears. So if you pull that leaf blade back, you can see where these, um, this structure would be. The last structure that you might use to identify this grass is the node. And so if you can find the node, which is just kind of a bumpy spot on the main comb, Indian grass has a very hairy node. So if you don't have an inflorescence, you can always use the oracles and the hairy node to tell if this is an Indian grass. For more information about introduced and native plants, check out our website by clicking on the link below.